Hey, what's up guys? It's Marvel vs. DC Fight here. Today I'm going to talk about how Marvel and more specifically Nick Spencer ruined my childhood. So in case you didn't already see, I'm wearing a Spider-Man shirt today instead of a Captain America shirt when talking about this subject because, well... If you didn't hear by now, apparently Captain America is a part of Hydra. So yeah, a few days ago, I think it was Wednesday, so actually just yesterday, yeah, um, uh, Marvel released the new Steve Rogers Captain America issue number one. Steve Rogers is back from basically the dead. He was an old man he wasn't dead yet but he just basically didn't really do anything so he was just an old man falcon took up his mantle but marvel released a new comic where he's back as captain america now and yeah so it was pretty great until it started exploding the internet with the fact that captain america was now a hydra agent and apparently has been for the past 75 years uh, I'll get into my long rants later, but I'm just going to talk about the comic for now. So I saw this, and obviously I was like really, really mad, in case you didn't see all of my posts on Instagram with my long, angry rants. Yeah, so, um, but, so I had to read it because I had to, like, actually see what happened in it, because all that I had seen, basically, was the Hail Hydra part, and... I can't make too many judgments based off of that one part, but it's as bad as it seems, guys. Like, seriously, I was thinking that he might have said it just for, like, to get into some base or something, but no, he's, like, actually most likely a full-fledged Hydra agent. So, basically, the story starts off back in the day, uh, where kind of, uh, Steve's, Captain America's dad is, like, basically just abusing, I guess, uh, his wife, Captain America's mom, and then basically some girl who ends up being a Hydra agent later on comes out and beats the crap out of Steve's dad and basically saves them. So, yeah, and then that's just like a flashback. It flashes back and forth between those two. Then it goes to Captain America, like, today, and it's talking about, like, the whole time it's talking about how he's, like, a hero because of the people he, like, was raised by and all that stuff. So... It was kind of, it, it was bad. So then it cuts to modern day when he's on a train and of course he's Captain America again and he's fighting off bad guys trying to stop the train from blowing up. And then it goes into like the bombs, the, apparently the bomb is like some guy, suicide bomber basically, and it goes into his backstory of how he was a criminal and then he tried to become good again but then he was bad again, again when um, Hydra recruited him and then made him be a suicide bomber, so yeah. And basically, he succeeds in saving everybody, but he does not save the guy who was the suicide bomber, and he ends up dying and stuff, and yeah. So then it goes on and on about other stuff until, like, I don't even remember most of it at this point. Like, it was a pretty, I mean, it was a good story, but it was just bad, so now I'm just gonna go into, like, basically the rest of the story so then it goes back to the day that they meet and they're having dinner with the uh, one lady and she walks them home um and gives steve's mom a pamphlet for hydra and just basically asked her to join and while all of this is happening steve is fighting baron zemo baron zemo like pushes him out of a plane um it then, uh, oh god, what's his name? Jack Flag, I think it is, something like that. He comes up and saves him, and then, like, just kills, doesn't kill, but, like, just beats up Baron Zemo, and Cap's like, why'd you do that? Like, I, this is when it's, th this is when the reveal comes, and it's just, like, so bad. Like, he's just, like, he pushes him out of the plane for killing Zemo, and then just says, Hail Hydra, and it's like, what? What? Like, this is just so wrong. You take someone who's created 75 years ago by two Jewish men to just symbolize, like, 
the American spirit, basically, and just the fight against the Nazis. He was the one who is known for punching Hitler nine months before America even joined the war. He is just the most patriotic hero out there, like Marvel, DC, both of them. He's the most patriotic hero out there. And you take him and make him a Hydra agent. Now, at first, when, when, Nick Spencer first announced that um, he wasn't like brainwashed and he was like actually Captain America who's saying this stuff. I was like, okay, so he, he might have some other reasoning behind it. Like maybe he was being forced to by someone. Maybe he was just, I don't know, something like that. But then, but then he pushes out, he pushes the kid out of the plane and like you can tell like that he meant it his mom was a part of hydra he wanted to follow in her footsteps it is so bad like oh my god like you cannot do that to captain america and captain america was like my childhood hero basically because he was like the only superhero that i really loved like he was the one who got me into like loving marvel loving even eventually leading up to loving DC because of him. Uh, like, I like Superman, I like Batman, I like Spider Man, but when I saw Captain or I liked Iron Man too, but when I saw Captain America, that's when I just started loving comic book movies and I just started like becoming a geek. I've, 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 I've like told the story multiple times uh, to you guys, and yeah, that's just how I became a geek was Captain America, and now you take him and make him a Hydra agent. He's fought Hydra for 75 years. He's fought Baron Zemo, the Red Skull, um, just Hydra in general, Hitler, all of them. He's fought all of them, and then you take him and just make him an agent of Hydra, which, by the way, is a Nazi organization. He, what, um, keep forgetting his name, what Spencer was doing is basically just saying screw you to the people who made um, Captain America because they obviously didn't want Captain America to end up being a Nazi, I mean they were Jewish, of course they wouldn't want that for a character they made and they made him just to be like a symbol of fighting Nazis so and you just make him join an organization of Nazis. Like, it's just not okay. Like, they better have a good explanation. I've said this in one of my rants on Instagram. If they don't have a good explanation for this, then I'm just basically done with Marvel. Like, that's just bad. Like, why would you do this to Captain America? And, yeah, so I don't really know what else to say. I mean, I'm just really, really mad right now. So... I don't know. If you guys haven't read the comics, I would I would recommend the comics. Like normally this would be a really good comic if it like had somebody else coming in and saying Hail Hydra or like a good reason behind Cap saying Hail Hydra, like he was brainwashed or something like that. Then that would make it a really good comic. But when when you have him come out afterwards and say he wasn't brainwashed and this is actually Captain America, just th that's what made it really, really, really bad. Like, otherwise, it would have been a pretty good story. Like, if he just said Hail Hydra, and then in the next, uh, next, um, book, next, uh, this, what do you call it, issue, sorry, um, he, like, you find out that he was brainwashed, or even in a few issues. I mean, it would make all of us mad now, but at least then we would be like, oh, okay, so it wasn't really his fault. He wasn't a Hydra agent all this time. But, I mean, when you're basically saying that it was him saying it, like, he was not under the influence of anything. He wasn't being forced to say it. Like, he wasn't brainwashed or anything. And when you just basically say that he is definitely a Hydra agent, like, no, th that's just not not okay i mean i really hate um marvel right now basically as a whole um basically everyone who worked on this comic too they're like my new enemies i mean it's <sighs> like i've already gone through the five or not really i'm on the fourth of the five stages of grief right now with this first i denied it i was like oh okay so this is like a joke or something probably maybe he you know this this is this isn't true then second of all when i found out it was true i went into anger and i got really 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 angry at marvel and everybody who made this happen then third of course i went in 
Right, was, yeah, bargaining when I was like, okay, so maybe he was like brainwashed or maybe he was like forced to say maybe he did to get into a hydra base he had to have some reasoning behind it like there's no way he's actually a hydra agent but then of course all of that was basically denied and now i'm in depression uh it's not like really bad depression it's just like really extreme sadness because my childhood hero was ruined by marvel but um I i'm not gonna lie i've actually almost like when i was reading the comic and when i heard that it happened i like actually almost cried and i've never cried what over a work of fiction the closest i've ever cried to, came to crying when reading a book was the maze runner when chuck died because chuck was like my best friend um so he was like my favorite character in the book but like i literally have almost cried like a few times ever since i heard this was happening and that he was an actual hydra agent like so yeah so uh, i i honestly cannot wait till june 29th when issue two comes out and i really really hope for basically everyone's sake that uh captain america did have a good reason for uh hailing hydra or honestly marvel you guys are gonna just like burn <laughs> like I'm pretty sure at least 50% of the fans out there, at least all of the Captain America fans like me, will probably riot Marvel if you make him into a Hydra agent. Like, that's just, that's just bad. So, I cannot wait till June 29th so we can see where this goes. And I really hope that it goes better after this one and not worse. If it goes any worse than this, um, it's just gonna be bad for me especially i mean i mean everyone basically uh like i've i've been reading age of ultron too i just got from the library today and i've been reading it and every time i see cap i'm like traitor like no if he has been a hydra agent for all 75 years of like his comic career i will never look at him the same like here let me express my anger But honestly, I do really hope that it ends up all good and that Captain America has a reasoning behind this and he ends up becoming good or something. Like, if he does end up being a Hydra agent, I really, 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 really hope that being a Hydra agent doesn't make him into a villain. Because if if he becomes a villain, I'm just really done with Captain America. Like, that's... is It's just bad. Like, I hope this is one of those storylines where we get, like, an evil somebody and then they just like become good again uh, yeah i'm honestly i hope i can end up buying this comic because hopefully in five years when it all turns out good and happiness and stuff then it's like worth 700 dollars on ebay and then i can sell it but <laughs> otherwise it's fine so um yeah that's about it. that's about all i have to say about this so what are your guys' thoughts just tell me below i mean I know a lot of you aren't really happy about this. I only know a few people who, like, are happy about it. Um, well, not really are happy about it. Either they are happy about it, or they're, like, just joking. And it's a cruel joke, guys. So, <laughs> um, so thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye. But before I go, dear Marvel, if your ultimate goal was to make a child cry because his childhood hero had been a villain for the past 75 years. Then I just want to say, you succeeded. All around me are familiar faces, worn out.